Yes, family. As I was saying, you know, it's something it, that was my third. I want to come again to the reason about visits to Africa, you know. That was my third trip and my fifth country. Yeah. Djibouti, Egypt. I told you I went there. Horse by ship, return by ship. And then I also visited Ethiopia, this time by plane, and Kenya. Went to Kenya from Ethiopia, my boss, Kachamali. And this last time here in November, December, just got 2018, visited um, Ghana. And it's something with Ghana that moved me, that in the core of me, in the makeup of my makeup, deep down in my core, it moved me. It moved me. I've been to the other four I said, and the way Ghana moved me, it didn't move me like that. If there's ever such a place as heaven and earth, I see it in Ethiopia, in South Africa, I've seen it there. If there's ever such a place as heaven and earth, it's in Ethiopia. Yeah, that's my take, right? The Ghana, Accra, Kumasi, the Doha, um, the Doha County, and these places, it moves me. Tamale, it moves me. It moves me. Ghana moves me. The vibration of the country, the vibration of the people. I feel like. I feel like when I reach Ghana, it's like, boop, I drop in something where I left off a few years ago or a few days ago and I just drop in it again and I just pick up where I left off. The only thing that was missing for me in Ghana and I, and I know just giving myself a little time I would have picked it up. Is it different? The language, the tree, the gun, the, the, the fanti and these languages. This is the only part I feel left out with. Other than that, I feel like full African, full Ghanaian. No, who really moved me, I want to share this real quick with your family. It's when they took I on the trip to, um, um, they call it a castle, but we call it a jungle or a dongle. Elmino Castle or Elmino, Elmino Jungle and, 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 and Brazil House in Jamestown, Accra. Big up yourself, Peter Jatta. Um... Is when they took I to El Nino Dungeon. Right? El Nino Dungeon, not jungle, dungeon, yeah. In the dungeon. What moved me? Enough people, it moved as well. But what really moved me, people, family, is when they, while we were giving the tour, they were talking about while our ancestors were down in the pits or the jungle. If you see the room size, I'm not a carpenter, so I don't know measurements. But if you see the room size, two and three hundred in a room. You know? But what move me, what touch me, I will move me. And I say, my own little way, or in my own big way, that I could touch my people them to rally them or help inspire them or help awaken them or help enlighten them help to get them out of this slumbering is when they told us that while our ancestors were down in those pits in them dungeon like a day like today sunday the 24th of february like a day like today, Sunday, while my ancestors were down in those dungeons. Church, church, the church service, pastor, priest, and bishop, and these so called religious leaders. Church service, our church mass was going on upstairs. Yes, family. And that moved me. I'm going to show you now why I say that moved me. 
that moved me in a sense because how they had us here in the west my grandparents and great grandparents and then with bible those who were in islam and muslim gonna talk about quran for see how they had us on the bible with this bible thing eating living sleeping reading bible and while we like i said while my ancestors are in the pits of hell church and church services are being held upstairs a sunday like this sunday where our ancestors are in the the holding pits if you see these places all baby born in them place there yeah man so church service going on upstairs and ancestors don't say suffering and going through all kind of turmoil and tribulation you know so right there and then i always know this whole religion thing and this thing and this thing was fault equity i always know that you know but like i said when they show us that the church service was keeping up says i said oh my god what kind of god is this who god is this that human beings you have as animals as human cargo and you give you have church service upstairs while they are downstairs church service and church mass and mass going on and they downstairs right now i get vexed or spot spot vex spot sad right away because i told myself crossing the road here so kind of thing i told myself that is it that was it and since i forward on the west sea i fling away the bible i literally fling that thing away when my youths them were in school, one um, the teachers, big up yourself, Dr. Green, Richard Green, Crown Heights Youth Collective, told us, and that stuck with me for years, that the Bible is to be used, or you deal with it from a historical angle, or from a historical perspective, the Bible. <laughs> yeah and but then when i look at it on the flip side now i say you know what uh, you can't fault why jesus you can't fault him and he followers and worshipers you can't fault why jesus you know why because i said them people who was upstairs in the done the people them who were upstairs keeping church service caucasian persuasion were keeping church services upstairs and they were being enriched by stealing our forefathers and foremothers raping maiming and killing them under all kind of tribulation and stress and perilous conditions they had us in you know and still have us in i said you know what why jesus is doing what why jesus is doing why jesus these people so-called slave owner slave masters they were praying to their god which was why jesus and he was answering their prayers so you really can't fault why jesus why why jesus was doing what why jesus was put up for do and these people he was answering their prayers in what they were doing so because of saying our four parents down in these dungeons we got there the god why jesus answering their prayers but he's not defending our four parents and that's when it hit me right there and then it hit me already but it really can't click up everything there and then that religion 
especially out here in the west over there in africa too car we have you think we have work here for do in 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 in, in the west eh? waking up our people from the slumbering mentality from the long long over 400 years of sleeping we got enough work for do on the continent too plenty work for do on the continent yeah enough enough work yeah man but we're gonna pick up on that again at a later date yeah them have a blessed day i man going in and get some breakfast you know break the fast breakfast have a blessed day you don't know like i said we death on patrol we death on watch africa's vanguard big up yourself